Fatima Swaliha, the last contestant of Face X talk show here in Face Campus season one. Swaliha aspires to become a civil servant. She cherishes the unforgettable moments in her life, including the birth of her little sister and participating in a protest for Palestine in 2014. Hi everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Today, in this wonderful event, I invite you to explore the unique and empowering journey of self-discovery that has led me to declare boldly that I am proud of myself. I know, now we all might be wondering, how did I become proud of myself? Right, so before answering this question, I'll tell you something that, why did I choose humanities for my higher secondary school education? There were two reasons. One is that I like to study political science and history. And the second one is that I want to exclude mathematics from my studies because it was the most difficult subject for me. I guess it must be the same for many of you here, right? So that's why I chose humanities and everything was going fine. But after some days, our economics teacher, Shainamas, has started to teach us the statistical part of economics. When I realized that there is mathematics in humanities also, it was a very terrible moment. The most important thing in this case is that Shaina Miss was one of my favorite teachers that I have ever met. So it was my desire to score full marks in a subject. But how? How can I score full marks in economics? Despite the good grades in all other subjects, I always scored below average in economics. When I hear the name of that subject, I will start shivering. That was my condition. But I was not ready to give up. I just started learning the theoretical part of economics and simple questions from statistics also. When I am sleeping, there will be economic sex in my bed. When I am walking, there will be economic sex in my hands. And I was continuously reading the theories. One day, in a class test, I have got the least marks in economics. Because of that, I became very desperate and I was crying. That time, Shine Amos came into me and told me that no need to score good grades in these silly tests. You have to show me your good grades in the public examination. So, for the first time, I have sacrificed my sleep for studying. You know, I'm a person who sleeps a lot, but in the case of economics, I was sleepless. I was continuously solving the statistical problems in the late night. Finally, our public exams came, and I have attended it. Now, can I ask you a question? Do you believe that a student who secured the lowest marks in a class can score full marks in a public exams? The answer is yes, and the proof is me. When my results came, I was really surprised. I have scored full marks in economics. That is the moment that I became proud of myself. It is a small incident that happened in my school life, but it has taught me a lot of lessons. If we work hard for something, it will definitely fall into us. Thank you for giving me a valuable time and have a nice day.